Scott, say goodbye to your PlayStation 4 and your Xbox One as Hunt Showdown is dropping the PS4 and Xbox One support in August. Tom Ivan over at VGC. Crytek. Crytek will drop last gen console support for Hunt Showdown this summer. At the same time, it will offer players the chance to upgrade to newly launched current gen versions of the shooter, which will introduce a fresh map and performance improvements on consoles and PCs. David Fafield, general manager of the Hunt franchise, elaborated on Crytek's plans for the game in a developer update video, which you can watch right now. Quote, after this is live and running natively on PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series consoles, you will no longer be able to play at all on the older generations of consoles and will need to upgrade. To those affected, again, we want to be clear, your player accounts and entitlements to Hunt Showdown and all related DLCs carry up to the new version at no additional cost when you're ready to make the hardware transition." End quote. Build as a competitive first-person PvP bounty hunting game with heavily PvE elements, Hunt Showdown is, was released on PC and Xbox One in 2019 before making its way onto PS4 the following year. Field said Crytek is aware that players have, quote, hundreds or hundreds of more questions that need addressing, end quote, and said the company plans to do so via a series of updates and responses to concerns over the coming months. This, uh, These will include a new weekly video series, which will offer a look at the, uh, the game's updated UX and UI design technological upgrades and performance improvements, and the latest steps being taken to combat cheating. Cheaters suck, Scott, at the end of the day. Always. Right? They'll always be there. They'll be a, also being used to discuss the evolution of the hunter recruitment and prestige systems, changes being made to the progression system, and decisions being taken around the hunter revival, health chunks, restorations, and burning down hunters. A lot on the go, but Scott, sounds like it's time to move on. What do you think? Oh, I think this is an interesting move for mm -hmm. uh, the company to do, and I'm, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried only because of things like Overwatch that have sunset the original in favor of the sequel. This is sure. kind of a little different being an upgrade, but not just Overwatch 2 in the case of Overwatch. But in any case, I'm nervous that they're taking the originals offline, but at the same time, offering that free path for upgrade, I think is the right way to do it. And Absolutely. there's... It, seemingly no no wipes no server wipes you don't have to make a new account that would have been an absolute disaster oh, can you imagine start all that over. would have killed the game yeah yeah no i think this is the right move by crytek they are building their future they're getting ready for ps6 the next xbox whatever that is so that they can carry on they've upgraded their cry engine right to 5.11 whatever that means Moving forward, it's like going from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5. That's kind of my more my terminology. But when you get into CryEngine, this is their next step, right? They're bringing it so it's current gen only now. And I think the old gen was holding them back to a certain degree, I'm sure, right? They want to be able to expand and move forward. So they got to be able to future-proof themselves. And this is just part of it. Now, these consoles, these current gen consoles have been around for a while. But it's just time to upgrade at the end of the day. I do like that it is a free account a free upgrade to that current gen systems so you don't lose all your progression which is awesome to see but it is up itgtv.com let us know are you playing hunt showdown 